So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I think the easiest thing to do is for these next two problems. If you got, as I mentioned, square roots, I think a lot of times you know gets is pretty is pretty basic. A lot of us are familiar with square roots, but if you guys are getting to cube roots and fourth roots, I'm not going to lie, it's not the number, it's not roots that you deal with all the time. So the best thing I would recommend is write down a factor tree. All you simply do is take the number and say, all right, well, what are two numbers that multiply to give me 81? Nine. What are four roots called? The fourth root. Yeah, but like, like they're like three big or like quarter like three. Quartic. Uh, then we do cube of uh, nine, it'd be three times three and three times three. So does everybody agree with me that 81 is the same thing as three times three times three times three? Yeah. Yes. So I can rewrite the cube root of 81x cubed as three times three times three times three times x times x times x. The easiest way to simplify radical expressions, not the fastest or the quickest way, but the easiest way is to write it as its prime factors. Now, all we simply need to do is see that, oh, the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 is just 3. The cube root of x times x times x is just x. And I still have the cube root of 3. Final answer. That did not take me. That did not take me that long. So